So for this demo, let's assume that we're creating a new site for my Ruby photos. So since I already have Hugo installed and it's on the path, I just type Hugo new site and we'll call it Ruby photos, which is going to initiate the site creation. And it's also going to create that directory Ruby photos. So we'll navigate down into that. And then I use Git, so let's do a git in it and it'll initialize ruby photos as a project and now we have to decide what we want our site to look like and that's where the themes come in so there's hundreds of themes available on the gohugo.io site just click on the themes link and it'll bring you to this page some of these themes are awesome some of them are very full featured some of them are not but for each theme, you should be able to go to a demo page and review what the theme offers by going through the demo. And a lot of the authors have gone to great lengths to make these themes very full featured. Other authors, let's just say, have not done as much. But either way, we can copy the link address from the download link. This is just the link, the same link you would get if you went to each of the themes GitHub repo and you chose to clone it. It's the same URL. So I'm going to initialize a submodule because I want to track the theme separately from my website project. And so we're going to create the submodule into the themes folder and we'll use the name of the theme as the folder. And I'll fix that. Now I need some content. So we're going to create a new blog post, let's say, for Ruby's day on Barton Creek. It's a markdown file, so we'll end it with MD. And when we hit enter, Hugo will create that new blog post based on something called an archetype, which I'll get into later, but it just tells us that it was created. So now we can run the Hugo server. Since that blog post is in draft mode, we have to run it with the dash D command to tell it to build the drafts, and we have to force it to use the Hugo Niederberg theme. Now I can browse to localhost 1313, and I see my post, Ruby on Barton Creek. So that, in a nutshell, is all it takes to create a new site with Hugo. You don't create sites very often, what you do more often is you do a lot of content. So I'm gonna open code. In code, you can see the structure of your site, which includes a config.toml file, which right now is pretty empty. The content that we created earlier is in content posts, and there's the Ruby on Barton Creek markdown file, and it's pretty empty as well. Under themes, we see the Niederberg theme, and there's always an example site. And this is what's going to kind of bootstrap us and get us going. So I'm going to copy everything that's in the sample config.toml file and paste it into our active config.toml file, and then save that file. Next, I'm going to copy the content. This will just kind of give me a, a place to start. So I'm going to copy the about folder and paste it in under content, and I'll do the contact folder. Now you can go through and change any of this after you're done, but this will help you understand how the theme is put together so that you can kind of get up and running faster. We'll even copy those sample posts. Now that we've got that done, the images are actually stored in a different location. Those are called static assets. So I'm gonna close up the example site just to make sure I know where I am. And there are no custom layouts in here. Those are all part of the base theme. But I will copy the static files because I just wanna get a sense of the look and feel of this site. So we'll open out this production static folder and paste it in there. Didn't quite get my all my images. There's an about and a favico. Let's go ahead and grab those and copy them in as well. And now that we've got all of those pieces together from the example site 
into our production site, we can rerun the Hugo server. I don't have to specify the theme because the theme was configured in the config.toml file, but I do have to specify drafts if I want to see my Ruby post. Go back to our browser, refresh the browser, and the site should come together. There's still our Ruby on Barton Creek at the top, but now we have all the sample posts and clicking on any of those shows us big, beautiful photos and pages. So essentially what we've done is just deployed one theme. Every theme is a little bit different. Every theme has slightly different um, navigation across the top and sub navigation. That's really up to you to decide how you want it to work. But I think it's pretty cool. You can get going this fast in future posts. I'll show you how it's all put together.